choice care and maintenance of sewing machine wow home at last hey you have a sewing machine at home mm -hmm. why did you make us go to onyangos i needed a walk plus i don't have all the sewing equipment you saw out there hmm. anyway if and when you buy yourself a sewing machine choose one that is cost and user friendly buy from a reliable supplier who will be able to provide services and spare parts ensure the machine is in good working condition and all the attachments are available before the final transactions i see do they also come with the manual of course all sewing machines should have an instruction manual that will help guide you on its operation and maintenance fine i am more interested in how the machine works then come closer there are points to note when using a sewing machine for example you must work in a well lit room that's common sense let me finish use appropriate thread and needle for the work you intend to stitch use correct size of stitch for the fabric test the machine on a double piece of fabric resembling the one to be worked on mm. ensure the tension is correct for the work before placing the fabric to be stitched where tension means the thread should not be too tight or too loose as this may make the fabric to lose shape mm -hmm. when everything is as good place the work correctly on the machine mind explaining let me demonstrate lift the presser foot mm -hmm. and the needle while placing work on the table mm -hmm. lower the needle into the fabric at the exact point for starting the machine then lower the presser foot to hold the work see nice then what work oh guide the work through the machine without pushing or pulling it as the machine runs to machine a corner lift the presser foot and leave the needle on the fabric uh, like this turn the work as required then lower the presser foot and continue stitching after you are done how do you remove the thread remaining at the end of stitching stop the machine mm -hmm. lift the presser foot and the needle pull the work from the back of the machine and cut the bobbin and the needle thread leave about two centimeters for finishing off bring both threads to wrong side of the work tie to fasten off and cut the ends leaving about a half a centimeter can i give it a try take your time but i have to supervise you since you are a learner by now you should know what needs to be done before and after the use of a sewing machine hmm. before use wipe the machine of dust and grease do not stitch over pins as this might break the needle after use place a piece of cloth between the presser foot and the feed dog to soak up excess oil before storing the machine cover it with a cloth and store in a clean place and keep cleaning and oiling the machine regularly hey stop hey am i doing it wrongly that is not how you wind the bobbin oh let me show you okay disconnect the movement of the needle by loosening the top motion screw mm -hmm. then pull the thread from the spool spin place the bobbin on the bobbin winder run the machine so that the thread is wound evenly on the bobbin but stop before the bobbin is too full and finally tighten the stop motion screw to reconnect the needle got it and how do you fix a new thread onto the machine good question when threading a sewing machine the thread through the spool is taken through a guide to the tension disc where it is passed to the thread take up lever it is then pulled through the thread guides to the needle and the needle is threaded from the direction of the last guide following the machine instructions threaded 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 okay one last question uh -huh. how do you then get the thread into the what is this the bobbin case that's easy 
Place the bobbin in the bobbin case. Pull the thread under the slit under the tension spring. When the thread is pulled through the slit downwards from the left to the right, the bobbin should run clockwise. Mm. Place the bobbin case in the shuttle with the hook pointing upwards. Press it until the hook is clicked in position. Uh, can you do that? I guess so. Good. To bring the bobbin thread up, hold the needle thread with one hand, turn the balance or flywheel gently with the other hand to lower the needle. Mm -hmm. Keep turning slowly until the needle picks up the bobbin thread in form of a loop. Pull the looped thread out so that the two threads are on top. Put both threads to the back of the machine through the fork of the presser foot before starting the machine. Wow, you really are good at what you do. You can say that again. Here is a diagram illustrating how to thread the bobbin. Hope it gives you more insights into how it should be done. Thank you so much. But just like any other equipment, the sewing machine might break down. Do I have to carry it to the manufacturer for repair? That depends on the degree of the spoilage. There are breakdowns you can fix yourself if you acquire the right skills. There are also complex faults that will need the assistance of a qualified technician or the manufacturer. Why don't you take a breakfast? I also need it. Sour, sour.